Hey everyone, Jamie here, uh, bringing you my week 43 wrap up of 2018. Uh, tonight you might be able to tell that I'm, well maybe not, but I'm sitting in a hotel room. I am currently in Hamburg in Germany. Um, I caught the train down from Denmark uh, today out of the snow and a little bit of a, I don't know if you call it a blizzard, but to an Australian it was a blizzard. Um, to Hamburg where I've got a meeting uh, Tuesday um, with uh, for some negotiations on uh, a contract. Last week I spoke to you about something I did in Sweden. Uh, that got sorted, that got signed and that got delivered. So very exciting that things are starting to fall into place. And the execution is good and completion is really good. So uh, that particular deal got us, uh, or the company that I'm consulting with, um, over a dozen countries throughout the EU to supply goods uh, and products to. So very, very exciting, um, a good expansion on that. Uh, there's a few things I wanna to touch on this weekend. I wanna mention somebody's name, and his name is Ryan. Ryan, I do apologize how to say your last name. I have no idea how to say it, uh, but I will put it in, my, in the descriptions down the bottom with the, hash, with the um, handle to your IG account. But I met Ryan about eight years ago through a friend, um, Yoshi. They were both going to Melbourne Business School, MBS doing their MBAs, and they met there. And Yoshi had started this thing called P for B, called Passion for Business. And every Saturday morning, or sorry, once, once a month, they would meet on a Saturday morning, they would talk about a case study and they would go through, you know, backwards and forwards on different things. Anyway, I met Ryan there um, and a number of the other, you know, Yoshi's um, student colleagues. And I've kind of just kept in touch with Ryan through social media over the years. And he doesn't know this, but 1,645 days ago, yes, 1,645 days ago, on his Instagram handle, he started a thing called hashtag 100 happy days. And basically it was just one of those things where, you know, you show gratitude and I haven't watched every single day, but I've watched every single week um, and sometimes every day. And basically Ryan now reached his target of 100 happy days. He's now, he then set a target of hashtag 100, uh, sorry, 1000 happy days. He reached that. And now he's at 1,645 happy days with a target of reaching 10,000 happy days. And this got to me about a few months ago. I was in London, I was on Regent Street and I recorded what I thought was gonna be a podcast or something like that, but I just stood in a laneway on Regent Street and I was looking down across to Piccadilly and I, I recorded something and I need to find the clip and I will post it on my channel here if you have a look, but I refer to Ryan at this point in time. And sometimes it takes multiple applications and multiple goes at trying to actually get something happening. Anyway, today's the day. It's October the 28th, 2018, and Ryan, I don't know if it's a pledge or whatever else, but to myself, I'm gonna start at hashtag 100 happy days. And on my Instagram handle, just at Jamie Vardy, I will post a gratitude, something or other, every single day that I'm happy about. Um, and the irony of this was this past week has had a lot of challenges, a lot of history, a lot of confusion, a lot of miscommunication, and it all came to a header um, in a way that was, uh, it was a little fast-tracked, it wasn't exactly seamless, but it got to a good completion point where the people involved could actually now move forward with blue skies ahead of them. And it was really good. There's a lot of clarity now for anyone that was involved. Um, and for that, uh, the process was, was good. Um, it took basically 12 months to the day to get it organized, to understand what was what, but it's good. Everyone's good now. Um, everyone's going and doing what they need to do and that's the most positive thing for everyone. So a part of that, is Ryan, you actually posted today that you ran a sub 15 minute, three kilometer run. And the irony of it is, was I've only been running for about six months now. I've never been a runner in my life. And for the six months, I've been pushing to get a sub 30 minute, six kilometer run, and I've done that twice. And the interesting part of this is, one of my motivators for doing that is just to push myself in something that is completely and utterly foreign to me. I am not a runner. But I tell you what, when your mind gets to it and you break through that first 500 meter barrier and then the one, one and a half K barrier, then you get to the halfway point at three Ks and then you go four or five Ks. The last kilometer, even though you might be in pain or whatever else, and there might be some runners out there saying, you know, I run 100 Ks a week, fine. I'm not a runner. 
Uh, and there are some of those people that wouldn't run 100 meters. That was me. I'm now doing six kilometers, not every week. I'm running at least three to five kilometers three days a week, maybe a touch more. But the six is just that, that pushing it a little bit further. But then Ryan posted today on his Instagram that he did a sub 15 minute three kilometer. And we just got to talking and uh, it was interesting. The connections on motivations and actually setting goals and getting things done and working through things. So Ryan, um, I'm not taking on the challenge. It's not, it's not a challenge, I get that. But I'm taking on what you've inspired me to do and by setting those 100 happy days. Uh, so I thank you for that. Um, I mentioned in some of my Instagram stories that I would be talking about some other bits and pieces. Not this week, uh, at the end of this week, um, had highs and lows. Uh, like I said, Sweden, contract done, good businesses in place there uh, to move forward. Oh, excuse me, I'm gonna sneeze. Um, uh, and then some other challenges, but you know what, you get through them. You wake up each new day and you go forward and you strive for good things. Um, blue sky is what we want. Blue sky theory of just openness and moving forward, charging a broad spectrum and not being confined. One of the things I was gonna talk about um, for this weekly wrap up was postcode tragedies. I'm gonna plant the seed now on postcode tragedies. Uh, and that's around things like, you know, where I grew up, 4220. Um, you know, there's some Californian postcodes that are notorious for just people being very select, local, not going outside the parameters. And then some within those postcodes actually go out and explore the world. Funny enough, I've been both. Uh, and a postcode tragedy doesn't mean people that stay within their specific postcodes and never ever explore externally. It does not mean that. Equally, it does not mean those people that explore wider than their postcodes um, to a broader, more you know, blue horizon type um, uh, outlook to life. Like I say, I've lived both. I'm currently living one that is just all horizon. It's just all out there. And it's ironic now that I am at the age of, what am I, 45? Yes, I'm 45. Um, I get both, I really do get both. And one of the things that has really hit me in the last probably three months based on business, contracts, finishing up, starting some more of my own projects and talking to people globally. Um, today, for example, I spoke to Nisha in Bali, Boxy in San Diego messaged me, Belinda in New Zealand, um, JH in Bath, the United Kingdom. Uh, Marie in Perth, um, Sammy in Melbourne, Australia. You know, it's just a global community now. So this whole conventionality, you know, <sighs> conventional thought process is the death of all creativity. So again, postcode tragedies, I will expand on that next week. But from me to all of you now, um, it's been a good week. It's been a really challenging week, but you get through it and like I say it's not here right now because it's dark outside but from Hamburg Germany um, that's this week's wrap up we'll see you next week from uh, where am I gonna be next week the UK actually I'll see you from the UK I'll be at a trade show so until then take care and um, be you and be well thanks everyone see ya